Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. So, I've told you guys I had a little project for the AliExpress GPU. And well, here it is. The all AliExpress PC. So, let's see what's inside this little baby and what the performance is like. I hope you guys will enjoy. So, here we have the SSD. It's a super here SSD. Um, it's from AliExpress. It cost me 30 euros and it's 512 gigabytes. Here we have a Wi-Fi, USB and Bluetooth dongle. And this one costs me eight euros. The next thing is the CPU cooler. We're trying to <laughs> unpack it. It came with a lot of packing material, but it's a CPU cooler. It has one fan and it costs me 10 euros. Next up, we have the CPU motherboard and RAM combo. And this one has cost me 81 euros. Next up, we have the video card, the RX 5600 XT. And this one has cost me 130 euros. This is a part I didn't dare to order from AliExpress. It's a power supply from Sharkoon. It's 600 watts and it was 40 euros. And last but not least, we have the MC Elite case. And this one cost me 50 euros. In the motherboard box, we find a CPU cover for the motherboard socket and a IO shield. In the motherboard box, there's also an other package, which has the 16 gigabytes DDR4 RAM inside of it, which is ECC RAM. And underneath the foam in the motherboard box, we'll find the motherboard itself in an anti-static bag. It comes with the CPU pre-installed already. Now that the RAM, the CPU cooler and the SSD is installed, we are done with the motherboard. The next step is trying to fit that motherboard into the case. So after a few hours of sweating bullets, here we have the final finished PC. But will it boot? Right here, I'm testing it on my TV. I just plugged it in to see if it will boot. I press it on and waiting in anticipation. And there it is, the boot screen. And here you see me installing Windows 11 over my TV with this AliExpress PC. Oh yeah. So yeah, while building this little PC, I've noticed a couple of things. Building and filming is really hard. And I've cheaped out on the power supply, which means that it's not a modular one. And boy, I'm feeling it now. It took me a couple of hours to build this PC. But here we are. The PC is built in all its glory. So in summary, all the parts are from AliExpress, except for two things. One, the case, and the second one is the power supply. First up, let's start with a case. I didn't buy the case of AliExpress because mainly shipping reasons. If I bought a case from AliExpress and I wanted to have a small form factor case, even though shipping would cost around 50 to 70 euros, which is just not worth it. You can get a small form factor case for that price shipped in the Netherlands. Besides that, Overseas shipping for something big like that would just take a lot of time and would set this project back a few weeks. And the power supply. I know it's called the all AliExpress PC, but a power supply could kill all of the components in your system. And maybe even worse, start a fire. But to stay in the AliExpress spirit, I just bought the cheapest power supply with an 80 plus bronze rating. If we add up all the costs that I've paid, at the time of filming, I just paid under 350 euros and that's including taxes, which would be $317 without taxes. So the price is right, but can this little PC game? 
So the first game I tested was Fortnite with a mixture of high settings with the viewing distance set to epic. And I wanted to see how this game would fare um, with this little PC. So what I immediately noticed is that this PC will drop under 60 FPS during the drop in the game. But once you're in the game, it was a smooth 60 FPS throughout. Actually, with high settings, you get around 80 FPS with this PC, which is very playable. You'll just have to keep in mind that this PC is perfectly fine for 1080p 60 FPS gaming. But for high refresh rate gaming, you would need something a bit more powerful and probably something a bit different than an AliExpress PC. The next game I tried was Spider-Man Remastered. I've played this on the high preset without frame generation and without FSR upscaling. And besides the fact that I really enjoyed the game just playing this again, um, it looks visually really, really good. And with these settings on this PC, I had a nearly locked 60 FPS. Just a few dips down to 54, 55 FPS and everything up to 65 and higher. And to be honest, for a single player game, that's more than enough. I really enjoyed this experience. These are the settings I used for the finals. I played this game in medium and yeah, let's see how the performance is. So I've noticed in the finals that the CPU is bottlenecking the GPU. I don't get all the performance I expect from the finals. Um, that's mainly because I know that there is more performance in the video card because when I tried it in my personal PC, I had more performance than in this configuration. However, don't get me wrong, it's still really, really playable. So after these benchmarks, you've noticed probably it's a pretty good little gaming machine. It works with every game that I've tried, even though sometimes you won't be able to get those high refresh rate frame rates like 120 FPS or 144 FPS or even higher. But if you want to dabble into PC gaming and just have a 1080p monitor or a 1080p TV with a refresh rate of 60 Hertz, this little PC will do the job. If you don't want to buy used parts or there aren't any in your area, AliExpress could be an outcome. I'm using this PC as a little media console slash gaming console and I love it. If you love this video as well, don't forget to leave a like, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share this PC if you know someone who needs a small little form factor PC but doesn't have the greatest of budgets. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want more projects like these, please let me know, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.